I'm gonna start by blocking the highlights with cream so since I have to start with the highlights I'm gonna start with this petal which seems to be the the lightest one and I'm going to start uh, on the borders uh, these borders are the lightest one I'm gonna start by putting the color on the border and then I have two some lines in here that I don't want to lose and let's see what color can we use to make those lines and I'm painting this for the first time so I don't really know what is a good color or not but I'm gonna guess that um, lime peel is a darker green so I'm gonna put lime peel on those lines Then I'm going to start base coating this cream section. And I'm doing circles. I'm trying not to use any pressure. And if you want to know an indication of what is a good amount of pressure, you can put your hands like this and you should be stickling your hand instead of uh, hurting. You should not hurt your hand. So I'm going to put uh, this cream in here. Try not to go over that um, lime peel that we put in here that line peel so that we have that uh, different value in there and I want to give several coats of color so I'm not gonna put a very heavy coat at the beginning. I always put very light layers of colors. Now I'm gonna go to the other side. I see I'm gonna put a tiny bit in the middle of this one. And I'm gonna go to the other side. This side on the edge seems to have something darker and then light. This is a hake brush that I use to remove particles. Okay, so I'm gonna go to now to a darker color. I was using cream. Now I'm gonna go to lemon yellow. Again, I don't wanna lose um, that center vein line. So I'm gonna put a tiny bit of moss green on in there. I'm going to start uh, painting this with lemon yellow. Again, I'm putting a very light coat of lemon yellow.
very light coat of lemon yellow. Where is that line is in there? That very dark line is in here. That was most green and this is lemon yellow. Let me go to that line that we have in there. Still feels like it needs another color. And I'm gonna bring in a uh, sand and I will be right back. Bring in the sand. I want to check the color in here. <clears throat> this is jasmine. And this one is sand. Sand seem to be um, is in the same family, but it's a tiny bit darker. A tiny bit darker. And I think I'm gonna go then uh, with uh, jasmine. This is jasmine, and this is sand. They're almost there, but one is darker than the other. I don't know if you can see that, that jasmine is a tiny bit lighter than sand. So I'm gonna put jasmine. So this is jasmine. and cream so I'm gonna go back and forth but I want it even lighter than that so I'm gonna bring um, white so this is white and I'm, we're gonna further highlight these with white Again, I'm still using very light pressure because I still want to put many ledgers. I start um, putting more pressure when I feel that I have the amount of color that I need and I am on the last ledger. That is when I start putting um, pressure. So I'm going to go back to cream. Cream. And I think I want to have this inside in here, the jasmine. The jasmine. So we can start making bumps. And this is cream. And we need, I'm um, going to put the jasmine in here, but we need a darker color of this yellow. Because the, uh, the bottom section has to, is turning. So it gets darker. Trying to fill in holes. Going back and forth between the colors. The white.
tiny bit more pressure because it is starting to fill in and there is doesn't allow measures when it start to fill in and I have a tiny um, darker color on the edge let me see um, what color I can use I'll be right back I'm gonna use the lime peel on this edge so it falls back but um, on this side I'm gonna use Let's see. Peach. And it's going to be a reflection of. There's an art area of color in there. I'm going to put this peach in here. And it's coming as a reflection from there. And what we need to do, we need to bring some gray colors in here. Let me see what gray I can bring. So it needed to be a warm gray, so I took the French gray. Um, let's see, I'm going to start with the French gray 30%. And in here, the petal is, there's a flip in there. And I probably need a, the, uh, the French gray 50 in here. And I want to put also this French gray in here. French gray 30, starting with the 30. And then going into the 50. What makes a piece is when you start uh, thinking about values and putting different values. This is 30 and I'm going back and forth between the 30th and the 50. And now that I have this French gray, I think this is what I'm going to use in here to separate these two. This is the 51 because I already have color underneath so I am blending it with the 50. So now I'm going to go back to the white. I'm going to go to my yellow color, Jasmine. Make sure this center is uh, more yellow. The center is more yellow. The edges are more white. This is white and I'm going back and forth. And I'm spending a lot of time on this first petal so that you uh, understand um, the concept and I think this is probably the one of the hardest one because it has so many different colors in here this is the white still with the white gonna go to the uh, jasmine Yeah, many ledgers I keep adding. Okay, 
Okay, this is cream. Cream. Let's take this um, jasmine and put it on top of that because we don't, we wanted it to be um, not that uh, tiny bit more soft, so subtle. This jasmine. and cream almost full in there I'm going to take the cream and put it in here. Let's see. And blend that in there. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of cream in here. Since we have the cream in our hands, let's put every single place where it needs to have this highlight. So for example, and you have a line in there for that highlight. Just been in there. We're fighting with the dark background, and this is a like um, painting. But um, either you fight with the light or you fight with the dark. When you, what I mean is, let me just put this uh, just uh, cream in here and I will explain that to you. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to add all the highlights now. And then I'm going to continue. Um, let me put uh, the jasmine again on top of this one because it's light but it's not as light as the section that is uh, that was light, uh, jasmine and cream and then we have a section of creaming here
putting cream. Too far in there. This is slime peel. Put some lime peel. This is lime peel. Cream goes up to and then he has lime peel in here. And confused with that there. And let's see, let's put some lime peel in here. Let's see, it comes from here to there. This cream. Cream. French gray, 50%. Okay, this is uh, jasmine. And I'm going to start putting jasmine in here. Forgot to put a line of cream in here. This cream. Cream. Very lineal this section. I am putting cream in a linear motion. I'm gonna go to lime peel.
for the this line peel of the uh, lines. Let's bring some of that uh, peachy color uh, peach in this edge. And let's bring some of that lemon yellow layers and layers and layers of color. That is what you need to have in your painting bring some of that uh, lemon yellow color there but I'm gonna put the sand because I, I wanted it to be more ye uh, yellow than green this is the sand Actually, all over, and then we can re highlight. Okay, going back again to that um, white first. We would not want to lose that uh, strong highlight that we have in here and in here. And probably here. And the border in there. Just in probably not no matter what you do, um everything um is not as easy as, as it seems, but um the more you practice the better that you're gonna get. I am putting more white in there and then I'm gonna use more of the cream, let's put cream a layer of cream and I doing something that is called burnishing that when I have many ledgers I want to uh, completely fill in the grain of the paper and I start uh, putting a tiny bit more of the how do you say the pressure but um, let's see I want this to be as dark in here, so I'm gonna start with a French grave. Uh, not that one. Let's put uh, let's put cream in there. Let 
we want to have some gray color but it cannot be this dark this I want to have that um, line in there French gray 50 straighten that. I don't like it, that it's not straight in there. That. Let's see. Let's put it darker underneath that petal. And let's put another one in here. can pick the jasmine I'm going to bring chartreuse. Let's see chartreuse in here. It's not that bright in the photo, but you know what? Um, you have to do this better than the photo. This is cream. Bring some a tiny bit of white in there and highlight it in there a tiny bit with the white. This is jasmine. Clean those edges. Okay, let's bring this white in here. And the section below is going to be base coated with, um, starting with nectar. Okay, but wait, there's, um, There's a green section in here, and this is chartreuse. I hope I was not filming with out of camera, because this is going to be all lost. And this is nectar. Put um, cream on that edge. And on this one, Let's see, you can put there and in there.
put um, chachus in there. And then nectar. Nectar and chartreuse. Nectar and cream. Tiny bit of chartreuse in there too. Okay, let's go to terracotta. Terracotta. Those thingies are very one for example this one I'm gonna put cream and this one then the other one I'm gonna put um the chartreuse and the same chartreuse and cream. And this is the terracotta. Let's put cream in here. And tiny bit of the yellow chartreuse in there. So that we find, let's see, this is a uh, terracotta. to the darker value that was Tuscan red. Let's put here lime peeling. Well, there's a tiny bit of white. Put uh, lemon yellow. <sighs> okay, let's see. This 
this is um, peach. And this is a uh, lime peel. And maybe all the way to more screen in there. Moss green. And then we were doing Tuscan red. Tuscan red. and black cherry put a tiny bit of black cherry in there a tiny bit of creaming here black cherry oh that was Tuscan black cherry It needs a deeper, deeper, deeper color than that black cherry. So let me find it. Before I go find the black cherry, I'm making lines in here with this uh, peach. And then I can go with the Toscan or the Rakota, the Rakota. It's a tiny bit lineal in there. And this Take some of the cream but maintain the lineal the lineal and a tiny bit of highlight with the cream. Um, this 
this is uh, nectar. Um, there's one stem missing, and this is um, chartreuse in there. Let's take the French gray 50% and darken that section in there and in here. Let's see, this is um, Jasmine. Jasmine. Okay, let's find that dark color. This is black raspberry. Black raspberry. Um, this is the chartreuse. Black raspberry. Black raspberry. Okay, I think um, that is enough. This uh, circle thing is, I'm just going to put it, um, first I'm going to put a tiny bit of nectar. And then I'm going to put the black raspberry. And I think we need a darker color for those. paint all of them and then we can put um, nectar the black raspberry very 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 lightly the nectar on this one and on this one Black raspberry, white 
going on those graphite lines. Okay, let's find a very, very dark color for do that, and we'll be right back. This is sepia. And we're shading with sepia first, and I think I'm going to go all the way to black. is black. Taking with black. Can even put black in some areas in here. Black. And black. Okay. Let's continue with the flower.